Yeah, so it's interesting that co-mutations uh, generally in KRAS altered patients drive poor response to immunotherapy. So if you have a patient with a KRAS G12C mutation alone, they might do better uh, with chemotherapy or immunotherapy combinations. But if you have a patient with a KRAS G12C mutation and a co-alteration in STK11 or KEEP1, we've seen now multiple retrospective series, really from Fernando Scaliti's team at MD Anderson and others, that this patient population does not derive a significant significant benefit from a PD-1 or PD-L1 inhibitor, even in combination with chemotherapy. Some folks are even proposing to think about using a CTLA-4 inhibitor in combination with chemotherapy and PD-1 inhibitor. Regimens such as the Checkmate 9 LA regimen with Carbopem, Ipi, Nevo, or the Poseidon regimen with Medi, Derva, Tremi, uh, and, uh, um, or Derva, Tremi plus chemotherapy. Now, it's interesting, if you look at the G12C mutant patients alone, these STK11 and keep one on co-altered patients may benefit more, we think, or hope, from a G12C inhibitor because they're not deriving significant benefit from chemotherapy. But Fernando's group showed that in the code break 200, when you looked at second line, uh, docetaxel versus uh, AMG 510, sodoracib, really no difference in the performance of, of those agents in those patients who had these co-alterations. So I think this is really important in immunotherapy resistance, uh, maybe less so important here in KRAS G12C. We'll see.